Richard Collada is the director of the Office of Educational Technology for the United States Department of Education. But more importantly, he was one of School Sleuth's key sources and helped him solve the case of the wired classroom. Of course, the sleuth didn't offer to share his fee with Mr. Collada. Here's part of their conversation. I've often thought about uh, what my kids will ask me about how we have technology in schools when they get older, right? I have four kids, and uh, sometimes I say something like record player, right? And they give me that weird look, like, what are you talking about, right? This is the same look that I hope to get when I hear, uh, when I say the word computer lab for my kids. And they will say, what, what is that? What's a computer lab? And, I, and I'll say, well, you know, it's that thing where you, you leave the classroom where you're learning and you go to another room and then you are able to use the, the computer. And they'll go, okay, that's strange. And then what happens afterwards? And we say, well, then, then we leave and we erase all the work that you did while you go back so another group can come in and do this. And, the, and they'll look at me with that same perplexed look when I say record player as when I say computer lab, right? The idea of leaving the space where learning is happening to go to another room where you can access technology technology is um, just uh, kind of crazy in a world where we should be using technology to support learning uh, in more natural ways. So the question we'll, it's, uh, this is a pass-fail test here, but the uh, um, question we ask everyone is, what is blended learning? So if you ask 10 people what blended learning is, you get 10 answers. Uh, my, uh, the way I think about blended learning is how can we use technology in ways that it makes the most sense and how can we use face-to-face -face live interaction when it makes the most sense. Uh, an important key to this whole thing is to realize that face-to-face -face can also happen via technology. So if you have students that are located at a distance, you can have live instruction, live interaction back and forth happening mediated by technology. Uh, you can also be in a physically co-located space. You can be in a classroom and have students that are interacting only with technology and no uh, human interaction. And so we can't get tripped up by where you are physically uh, as the uh, uh, definition for whether it's blended or not, right? You can be in a classroom and it's very focused just with technology. You can be remote and it's a very human live interaction. But blended learning is the mix between technology-mediated education and uh, human face-to-face -face interaction using whichever is most appropriate at the time for what you're trying to do. So what's the right blend? Is there a right blend? Oh, I think it's going to depend very much on what you want to do. Uh, there are times where it makes much more sense to have more uh, live interaction, more human-to-human -human interaction, and times where it actually makes much more sense to have more uh, computer-mediated, computer interaction, especially if you're preparing for uh, making a live human-mediated uh, interaction more meaningful. You know, I heard somebody once say that uh, if technology is done right, it should be like air, right? Ubiquitous and invisible. Uh, and I think that when, when, when we're doing the right thing with blending, it's hard to say, this is now the technology part. This is now the not technology part, right? It is, it is a mix and it's used at the right time in the right amount, uh, depending on what the learning objectives are. Maybe it's a conspiracy theory, mm -hmm. but certainly there are folks who say, if we use this technology right, we can replace teachers. Is the goal to replace teachers? Uh, n n no, not at all. So I think um, th the idea of, uh, uh, <laughs> There are, a number, there are a number of responses that come to mind when I say that. None of them are probably appropriate to have on, uh, on video. The reason for that is um, it, it's, it's a very, um, very limited view to think of it as a, di a dichotomy between teachers and technology, right? Um, really effective learning happens when you have teachers that have the tools that they need to, uh, to, to be empowered to do what they, to, to create creators in the classroom. This isn't about teachers or technology. This is about giving the right tools to the students and teachers when they need them. Uh, could, could you imagine if you said, it's about books or teachers. You have to choose between the two, one or the other, books or teachers, right? That's a preposterous argument. Nobody would go along with that because you know that books work well when they're in the hands of students and teachers to learn something. It's the same with technology.